the easy ones to blame are the pesticide companies, but they banned the type of pesticides that they thought were associated with it in Europe for a number of years and it hasn't really seemed to make a difference. I think there's a number of factors that relate to that, but I think that uh, the mites weakening the hive is probably the biggest contribution. Mites were not a problem with, with honeybees except for probably about the last 15 years and now they've really cause significant problems in a lot of people or a number of people and I put myself in that category I think that the mites are really what is probably cause most of the decline of the honeybee populations because they can really weaken kind of the bees immunity and the, the strength of the hive number one they, they they're kind of like an invasive species so to speak they were never here until about around 2000, I don't remember the exact year. They came here from South America, I believe. And now every country, except for New Zealand, has, has uh, mite issues. But again, part of the issue is, is that there's not, there's, there's kind of loss of habitat. There's a lot of, you know, monoculture type farming. You know, like around here, you got corn and soybeans, but not a lot of plant diversity necessarily. Matter of fact, almonds rely almost 100% on bees for pollination. Blueberries, apples, they require, or they really rely on, on bees for, for pollination purposes. There's been a, a tremendous growth in urban beekeeping over the past five to seven years, I would say. The restaurants are, are keeping them uh, sometimes on rooftop areas that they can use the the honey and other things. The number of, of commercial beekeepers has actually declined quite a bit because of problems with the mites and other things. It, it's just been too problematic as far as trying to keep them. The main goal was really just to get bees on the campus. I mean hopefully we want to use this as a eventually kind of an educational tool on the campus, if you will. 